Hey guys, Thyconders here doing another toy review, and this time it's for two figures, well, two sets that I picked up recently. And this is for the Ezra Bridger Speeder and the Imperial Speeder. Now the reason I'm doing the two of these together is, you'll see in a minute, that they pretty much are the same, uh, same bike, just with different figures. So, um, getting on to the boxes themselves, is... They basically have been reissued, so both come in very similar style packaging. Uh, for Ezra one, you got a picture of Ezra driving the speedy, speeder bike from Rebels. And the figure itself would be sit seated here, well, you can uh, see it here in the clear window section. But the thing about this is it's actually been repackaged and reissued in the Rogue One style packaging. It's kind of similar to what they did last year with the Force Awakens when they were including Rebels figures and Clone Wars figures in the um, in the Force Awakens line. They have the you know the same packaging but just without the Rogue One. So if you look at Star Wars, it says just Star Wars, whereas with the Rogue One figures, it says Star Wars Rogue One. And similar similarly with the Force Awakens for any of the characters that are in actual in the film Force Awakens they actually had the Force Awakens logo underneath the Kylo Ren stuff so flipping the box around you have a brief um, write up for um, Ezra so it's once a lone street urchin stealing to survive on Lothal Ezra Bridger has been taken in by the crew of the Ghost and is now determined, uh, now a determined freedom fighter who plays a critical role in the rebellion against the Empire. With the help of his master, Kanan, Ezra is well on his way becoming a Jedi. He uses the Force to fight the Imperial opposition that threatens to destroy the galaxy. Uh, you can see actually on the back of the box it has Rebels on the title where they don't have that on the front. Shows a few other figures in that you can pick up also available. So you have a K2SO picture, Imperial Speeder Beat picture, which is the other one that I'm going to review, and the Assault Walker picture. Now, as far as I know, the Speeder and the Assault Walker should possibly be in the same similar packaging, but I didn't see any of the actual Assault Walkers in the shop that I picked this up in. Uh, you can see a picture of Ezra and the bike, and shows a few p uh, key features like um, you can put the hilt, uh, the blade for his lightsaber in the bottom of the the speeder. The back opens up, and the um, handlebars and the foot pegs are adjustable. So you got a very similar thing for the speeder bike. Now I picked up two of these so this is why the uh, pilot is still in here. What's interesting is the pilot on these guys are ac actually the ATDP pilots. Um, so I'm assuming they're just like generic engineers or anything like that. So it says, uh, it actually has a brief write-up saying AP ATDP pilots are, all, are elite ground vehicle pilots for the Empire equipped with unique armor. They are formidable opponents for all of the Empire's enemies and that's pretty much the entire thing you got. On the back of the box as well it shows the Rebels logo but instead of the K2SO it shows Sergeant Jin and it shows Ezra's speeder as opposed to um, the Imperial one which this one is. So getting around to the speeders themselves I have the pilot sitting on this. The main differences between these speeders is that this one has this big giant launcher that's plugged into the side. You can remove it and Ezra's doesn't have that big launcher. Uh, sculpt wise they're identical. They even have the same seat, adjusting controls, um, don't go forward to back. It's the exact same sculpt. They even have the same opening piece at the back. And you actually have a little area on the back that you can store a blaster for the Emperor and on the back you can also store you put Ezra's lightsaber hilt there and it's even the same on the bottom you got a screw hole on the opposite side and on the bottom is this area here is where you're supposed to be able to um, slide in the lightsaber piece for Ezra's lightsaber Let's see if we can do it there see just slides into that and it's the exact same on the Imperial bike. You can probably see it a bit better on the Imperial one. It actually has the exact same sculpt. The only main difference is, for some reason, 
I'm assuming it's Hasbro wanting to do it. They added in this extra little piece with a firing missile. So, uh, figures that come with the set are basic five points for articulated figures. So, you have a swivel head, swivel uh, shoulders, swivel legs. Uh, can forward back, uh, they, they are separate so they can move it separate. Um, other than that, he comes with a blaster which is housed inside the speeder bike. I can just get it out there, sorry for off screen. But uh, his blaster he comes with is a standard issue Imperial blaster, so I can't remember, it's the E16 blaster, I think it is. But he comes with a standard one of those, whereas Ezra. Exact same articulation, uh, arms can swivel, head can turn left to right, well it can do 360, uh, forward, back and legs. He doesn't have a blaster or anything like that in his pocket, but he has the lightsaber which, as you, if anyone's watched the show, it doubles as a blaster anyway. You can hook onto his, oop, nearly dropped it, you can hook onto his leg on this kind of holster piece. You can go into his hand. And then it comes with a blade attachment, so it just plugs into his hand, and you can hold it in both hands. Um, don't think Ezra doesn't come with. I know there's a couple of versions of Ezra out there. He sometimes comes with a Imperial helmet because he collects them in the show, but this version of him doesn't come with one, and he can sit on the speeder bike quite nicely. I do like the deco for the um, for the Rebel speeder bike as opposed to uh, the Imperial one. The Imperial one's quite plain but the Imperial one actually has kind of weathering on the front of it as you can see there which kind of makes it a little bit more interesting. Um, I haven't tried any of the other kind of standard change quarter inch figures on these yet. I'm assuming you can put the standard um, scout troopers from the Empire uh, on them the non change or non five point of articulation articulated scout troopers should be able to fit these, um, but other than that, they're pretty simple. Um, I will say I did pick these up in little. I just seem to be getting in a bunch of Star Wars stuff for Christmas. Uh, these were the only ones I found last year. I kind of lucked out and managed to get the ATDP itself. So now I have a driver for it. Because uh, I missed out on the way that came with the ATDP pilots on their own or in packaged with, um, I think it was Kanan they came with, or was, there was a two pack at least with um, one of the Rebels characters and one of the Empire ones, and the D ATDP was one of the Rebel or one of the Empire characters. But uh, the artwork on the cover of the boxes is quite nice. The speeder bikes, the Imperial bike is kind of is a bit nicer than the Ezra's one, where it's kind of going through a cityscape, whereas Ezra's one looks like he's going through a forest. But essentially, they're the exact same scope for the bike. So, there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed my review. As I say, click, feel free to click like in the video. Um, feel free to comment on the video. And feel free to subscribe to my channel. There you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed this quick review.